Have you ever had that nudge that something wasn't right? That gut feeling, a voice in your head that pops up from time to time, maybe crippling, painstaking anxiety that just won't stop. Truth be told, that feeling or voice may be trying to help you out of a horrible situation such as a toxic relationship, passive aggressive work environment, FOMO manipulative marketing tactics, or even a cult. Those are just some of the topics we're going to be covering in the Wake Up Call podcast. I'm your host, Melinda Van Fleet. I'm a business owner and I'm also an intuitive, energetic business and growth coach mentor. I help my clients by teaching them, guiding them, supporting them, and empowering them in their journey. And this podcast is in alignment with my mission. Please check out my website, melindavanfleet.com for further information. In the meantime, thanks for being here. Let's dive right in. Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the Wake Up Call podcast. I'm flying solo today. Why? Because I have an amazing wake up call story of my own that happened not too long ago. It's pretty recent and I have lots of wake up call stories, which is why this podcast really um, excites me. I love hearing all sorts of stories like this and I certainly have my own, but this one's a really recent one and I think it's important to have this conversation because this is our future and that is AI. Before I get started with this story, I want to make it extremely clear that I am not someone who hates AI or is against AI or is an old person who needs to get with the times, whatever. I've actually had AI, my husband and I, since 2021. We have had Jasper, which was formerly called Jarvis, when we decided to start taking blogging seriously. And we use AI on and off to layer in some keywords, things we're missing, or if we need to add a little bit more context, fluff something up, um, remix something, or if we feel stuck, those are the reasons we've used AI. And we do not use AI to create content. It is truly for those purposes that I just listed, which I think is the smart way to use AI if you are a content creator. This story is something different. (laughs) And it's important because we're living in this world that is going by at laser speed. Time is flying by. We are loaded with distractions, loaded, which is having a monumental impact on our lives and not in a positive way. And we only have so much bandwidth. And by bandwidth, I mean energy for things. So there's time management and then there's bandwidth management. And I'm probably going to do more content or maybe even a small course on this topic because it's definitely something that I want to really help people understand the difference. So we'll save more. We'll save that for another conversation. But what happened is where I was catfished was a few weeks ago, someone I had been communicating with back and forth on LinkedIn. So I love to network. I love to network in person and I love to also network online. So within social media, Zoom groups, one-on-one calls, you name it, I love to do that. And it has definitely been an instrumental part in my business and growing my business and learning and you know, just building relationships, I love it. So in one of the groups I'm in, there was a man and he comments on my posts and I come on on his posts and on LinkedIn. And I really like his comments. I was like, gosh, his comments, like I feel like we're really kindred. Like I like his posts, I like his comments. And this has been going on for almost two months. And We're in a larger group together on Zoom. And in this group, there's lots of different calls. 
if you're into networking online, you'll, you know what I'm kind of talking about. There's just lots of different calls and you can jump on these calls and you can ask to have your breakout session with, you know, anyone you like. And I had this intuition hit to ask him to, um, ask that admin actually, to have him be a one-on-one separate breakout with me. And um, she said, yes, of course. So he and I have this breakout and I said to him, I said, I've requested to talk to you. This was the first time I'd ever done something like this, like done a request. And he was like, oh, really? Wow, that's great. I'm like, yeah, I just really feel that your comments on my posts and, you know, your posts in general, like I just, you know, they were very kindred and a lot in common. And he starts to laugh. And it begins to share with me that it's all AI. Not only are his posts AI, pretty much 100%, but also his comments are AI. And he actually didn't know who I was. He didn't know who I was. He never reads my posts. So he, he didn't know me. He didn't know that... I own a sport fishing business with my husband in the Keys. Like he didn't know that I'm a a business coach, that I tend to lean into talking about um, different aspects of spirituality. He had like no clue about anything, nothing, zero zip. I was blown away. In that moment, I was like, wow, that's pretty incredible. (laughs) Of course, right? You're like kind of stunned. And he's a super nice guy, so nothing, like, negative about him. It was just eye-opening because this is what's going on out there. This is the wake-up call. This is what's going on out there. So I ended up sharing this story with another women's business networking group that I'm in. And several of the women were like, you've been catfished! And they were right. I was catfished. I was catfished. I was led to believe that this other person was like kindred, like we were on the same page. We were having an online relationship, not in a, you know, sexual way, obviously, but like a relationship, right? We're here to build relationships with people. And I was catfished. He knew nothing about me. He wasn't reading my posts. It was just AI generated comments. So I really had to sit with this because next level after that, what are we all doing? What are we all doing online? So he is protecting his, probably his time management. I don't think he's thinking about energetic bandwidth like I think of these things. But he's just, you know, managing his time and looking for exposure. In that, I would never hire him, nor would I ever refer him. Because his posts, like, they're created by AI. Does that really mean that he has the skill set that he's sharing in an AI-generated post? You don't know. I mean, technically, you don't know in general, right? It's the internet. But this makes it even like, quote unquote, worse. Why would I ever hire him? Why would I ever refer him? I take referrals seriously. If I refer someone, it's because I know, like, and trust them to then share them with someone else that I respect and want that person to be successful. So I wouldn't refer someone that has content that's generated by AI and really isn't interested in building relationships. What kind of coach is that? So all these things started to really like bubble up. Like if we're on social media, the the whole idea behind why Facebook was created, why LinkedIn was created, why Twitter was created, was about friendships and relationships. Like if we go back and study, That's what it was about. 
I can't say the same for TikTok, but <laughs> that's a whole other story. But, you know, Twitter was to keep in touch with friends at a concert. Facebook was sharing, sharing pictures in, in college. Like, this was, like, the idea, right? So why would you even spend time online if you're just talking to a computer? Really? Why would you even spend time doing any of that? And I see it now. Now I can see it. And the person who owns the comment thing that the comment platform that this person is, you know, subscribed to, I know who that is now. <laughs> so now I'm like, oh, why should I spend time commenting on his posts, right? Are his all AI generated? I'm sure he's a great guy. I don't know, know him personally, but I'm connected to him on LinkedIn. How do you know? How do you know? And why would you spend your time communicating with these people? Why? So maybe you get some visibility. Then again, we have way too much content out there. So the age old, you know, advice on comment for visibility. Well, I don't know if that's really great advice anymore, to be honest, because who has time to read all the comments on other people's posts. Who has the bandwidth, the energetic bandwidth to do that? I used to, I used to, I, I, can, I can use myself as an example. Like I used to do that. Like I used to read people's comments, not in a negative way, just like to, for curiosity and like, oh, that person sounds interesting. Now I, I don't have the time or the bandwidth to do that. And quite frankly, I don't want all that energy. So I barely do that anymore myself. So if I'm barely doing it anymore myself, and I definitely consider myself to be someone who takes the extra step in things versus the vast majority, like who's to say anyone's doing it? probably a very small percentage. So what are we doing? What are we all doing? And it's just going to get more crowded and more distractions and more AI. I can just see it. I can see the posts. I can see how these super long posts, there is no way that people are typing these super long posts with five tips that are like three sentences per tip. That is AI generated. That's not a person typing a post. There's no way. There's no way people have time for that. And AI in terms of writing was basically designed because people aren't great writers, to be honest. Writing is a gift. It's a special talent. And it's highly coveted, in my opinion. I am super proud to consider myself a writer. Am I saying I'm the best writer? No. But I do consider myself to be a writer. And there's a lot packed into that statement. So AI is then giving everyone the opportunity to write, which is fine, but now it's going to be so evident of who's using it to write their posts versus who's really writing themselves. So this is your wake-up call. What are you doing online? Are you really building relationships? Are you showing up from like a heart-centered place? that you really care and want to be there? That's a piece of it too. If you just plug and play in a program, what is that telling the universe? Think about it. So, nice guy. I will always be friendly. He's just following the trend. He's just following the trend. Again, I'm not against AI, but this is a wake-up call as to what we're doing with it, 
how we're showing up, showing up in our business, showing up in our personal lives, with relationships, with energy, and how is this going to play out? So if you're listening to this on YouTube, I would love your comments. Please let me know. I'm also going to offer this amazing freebie that is five content creation tips. I'll put the link in the show notes. And these five content creation tips are non-AI. So if you're looking to stand out in a crowded sea and you don't want to have just vanilla posts anymore of you at a networking event, oh, yay, there's lots of those. I've done those too, but I don't really do those very much and too vanilla for me. But if you want to really create some content and you want some five pretty easy steps, I'll say, you just have to remember to do them. That's where the difficulty comes with us as humans, right? We have to remember. (laughs) Click the freebie and let me know what you think. Thanks everyone for listening. My website is melindavanfleet.com. Connect with me on LinkedIn, Instagram, or Facebook. All the information's in the show notes. This is your wake-up call. Bye for now.